three or something like that. Now the you want to call it a man cave cart port or yeah. But when I finished the last video when I did this wall to show you how I can close that. We talked about doing this here. I actually got this drum really nice cut in half. It worked out really well. Craig jig some old wood together. Uh, it's mounted with wood stakes on the back. It ain't going nowhere. Just a little FYI, if you go to cut a drum in half, know what was in there. If there was stuff in it that you're not sure of, take the top of it off, turn it over, and run a hose through it. You know, not to where your pollution or whatever. It'll put oil on the ground or anything like that. But if there's stuff in it that's a little bit left, just hose it out because you won't be cutting on it and grinding. Uh, or something like that blow up on you but uh so we got this part here done and then we made our I got a sign coming it's supposed to say restroom on here but yeah this is my man 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 bathroom door and this work out here which that needs to be cut out Mother Nature's bathroom. There you go. One of the reasons why I put this door on the side because my house sits like this, my yard sits like this at an angle. So if you look at the back side, you got about six, seven feet back there. For the front, put a half or so. So, yeah, so I had to put a door in there so I can actually walk to the back and do what I need to do. This up here, I did basically the same way I did this here, except for I just framed it in like you would do anything else. You've seen them done. Uh, the other next step will be on the next video. I don't like the white doors, so we're going to use it. It's all metal. So we're going to do a paint stripper on that and just take it down to bare metal and just leave it at that. I'm not worried about it rusting. Uh, but for most parts, I got it mirrored up, looking at uh, looking like the garage. Matter of figuring out what I'm gonna do with the ceiling, because I don't know if I'm gonna do it like that. I like to have it all black, a few lights, and figure out what I'm gonna do with this wall, because I want to be able to see the grandkids out playing in the yard, and they get into mischief. And Ten years from now, the wall is locking them up, so you gotta make sure they're not getting into trouble. <laughs> It starts somewhere. It starts just about the age they're at now. What are you doing? See what I mean? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe. Uh, this is our. Yeah. Leave a comment. Because I'm going to be doing the door and the ceiling next. And a small little review over this floor that I did too. It's been a year and a half since I've done that. So, yeah. Thanks, have a nice day and I'll see you on the next carport video.